Now, this girl has been working here for two years. She was married, and, but it didn't last very long and it broke up and there's no work in the village she works at, so she has to come to Phnom Penh to earn some money to look after her elderly parents and she works here. So she works here nearly every night. So, what, what's your first name? What's your name? I got okay. And you were telling me before that you know if you if I come here say now or in the afternoon or at night time, you would like fifty dollars for the whole night, spend the whole night and maybe the next day. Yeah. Yeah. And if you if I wanted to take you back to my apartment for one hour, maybe ten, fifteen dollars, but fifty dollars for the whole 24 hours and maybe $10 every day after that. Take her to a restaurant, buy her drinks, but once again, ask for her ID and be like a magnet. So, how old are you now? Uh, three and four. Three and four, but quite... Oh, 32, 32? Yeah. Oh, 32. Well, you look very nice for 32. I have a Yeah, 32, look at that. No, you look you look, look you look about twenty. I thank you. Yeah, so you look about twenty. So uh, okay. You speak like some my language. So this is just for my describers and this is what you can get for ten dollars an hour or fifty dollars for twenty four hours and then ten dollars a day after that. Hello. You look after her, she'll look after you. So every day take her to the restaurant or buy a meal, look after, look after her and she'll look after you for as long as you're here. So you can come and pick anyone you want and they're all the same, solos, but they have to be, you have to treat them like a magnet. As I said in my previous videos and, the, and at the end of this video. Okay, I appreciate the interview and for telling me all this information I'll give you $10 there you are that's the real one that's true it's not a fake one you can look at it thank you okay thank you yeah. thank you for the interview thank you about the pen now. that's okay I could have I could have had one hour I could have taken you back to my hotel uh, my apartment for $10 yeah, so that's how cheap it is. If you think that's good value for one hour, then pick up a solo. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. So, <laughs> thank you. So, I've only been here, what, 20 minutes, and I've had four offers in 20 minutes. Some get a bit annoying as you can see in the video as it continues on from here. And then I start saying Street 51 and then I continue on and I do another interview with another girl and two other girls after the video. So I'm putting two videos together. So I'll put this video first and then it'll start off at Street 51 and continue on. The other video will continue on after this one. And I'll leave all my comments down below. I'll leave all my comments down below. And if you want to know any, anything more, um, just come to... I'll leave all my comments down below and leave me a comment or con contact me on a WhatsApp number. So... In the, we're only, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning, AM, but... It picks up after 2 p.m. and then really picks up about 8 o'clock at night until the early hours of the morning. So we'll say goodbye to this girl here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And uh, we'll see you later. I see my baby now. Hey? I see my baby now. I thank you. Okay. And I'm, I, I have to say yeah. that you look very gorgeous for 32. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Yeah. You put all the other girls to shame overseas. Okay, thank you very much. And I hope you succeed in life and you don't have to do keep on doing this work forever.
and I hope you meet a nice man who will look after you. Okay, bye bye dear. All the best. Today I'm gonna do Street 51, the girly part and where all the girly bars are. So right behind me is the Pontoon nightclub and I'll continue on from here. We've got the white cobra bar, girly bar. Got the J spot. Now you got the Heart of Darkness, which is an all-gender bar. Doesn't matter what gender you are or what you're into. Whatever you want, whatever gender, whatever you want is found at the Heart of Darkness. So whatever gender you are, male, female, or whatever you call yourself, it's available at the Heart of Darkness in 51 Street. It's a nightclub, bar, everything all combined on about three or four floors. A great dance floor if you're into dancing. So we've got everything here at the Heart of Darkness. You've got Plan B, girly bar. It's been here forever. It's a long, well-established girly bar in Street 51. Plan B. Plan B. If you're in the, if you come to Street 51, come to Plan B. Whatever you want, you'll find it here. This is called Pub Street in Street 51. And before COVID-19, they were all individual bars along there. It took up two city blocks and once upon a time it was four city blocks but now it's just confined to one little small area down the end and I'll take you down to here so if you're coming to Phnom Penh Cambodia and it's open you know 24 hours a day so it's a good place to come in the daytime if you want to pick up a solo but just be very careful with the solos. Take a photo of their ID. If they haven't got an ID, just walk away. Take a photo of their ID and you buy them some drinks. But if you take them back to your apartment or hotel or wherever you're staying, you need eyes in the back of your head because they're working solo and they'll take everything of value from you. So if you're going to the bathroom, go and have a shower go to the kitchen to get a drink, whatever you are, they have to be right beside you every second of the time they're in your apartment. Otherwise, I'll take everything of value within seconds. So you have to have eyes in the back of your head and they have to be like a magnet next to you all the time they're in your apartment or hotel room or wherever you're staying. They've got to be like a magnet different from the girls you pick up from the girly bars you can just go back and say oh that's her there and you know where she works with solos you have no idea where they work and they usually ask you how long you're going to be here and you'll say oh a week so they won't come back to this place for another week so best of all is to take a photo of their ID and if they haven't got an ID walk away don't even bother with them so uh, if the object of you taking a photo of the ID, walk away. So if anything does happen and you lose sight or you lose anything, you've actually got some ID as proof without any ID. So take a photo of the ID, but be very, very, very careful with solos. You, they have to be a magnet beside you all the time they're with you when you enter wherever you're staying. All these used to be girly bars and bars open once upon a time. But they've all closed now. This used to be the street number 51 to come to. But now 136, 104, 110, 118 and non-pen have taken over. 
104 is the shortest street with the most girly bars per square metre, Street 104. And then the longest street with the most girly bars in it is Street 136 in Nong Peng, Cambodia. Both of them run off Riverside. If you want any more information, I'll leave it all in the comments down below. So if you're interested in anything, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. This used to be the place and, and now it's all deserted. You know, there used to be dozens of restaurants in here. And it used to go on forever. As I said, it took up two, three city blocks. And now it's all just deserted. There's only one little tiny place up the other end up there that's still open. Everything else is closed down. All these were bars and girly bars. And Street 51, but all closed down now. This is the only little part that's open now. So it's this part through here that's open. Which is in Street 51. And you can come here and sit here and have a beer in the daytime and sooner or later some girls will come up to you but that's not very active nowadays. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't got any at the moment. Nah. Nah. But good luck, okay? Good luck. No. There's some more girls sleeping and they just work me, work this area in the daytime on all the night time you just wake them up if you want to buy them a beer. How, how busy was this like 10 years ago? What do you mean? There used to be hundreds of people here, right? Eh? I don't know, I understand. Yeah, you understand, okay, because I know you have been working here for at least 17 years. I know you from a long time ago and you're still here after 17 years and you only say you don't understand when you don't want to answer, right? <laughs> yeah. So, she's going to give me a tour. Yeah. Hey? you me. No, I'm talking to her, alright? Let's go and do a tour, alright? Oh, uh, used to be hundreds, hundreds, thousands of people here, didn't they? Really? About 10 years ago. A thousand, look, keep out of it, please. Keep out. Fuck off. This one here has around here, everything here, from here. Yeah, yeah, so. Right, you want to do an interview with me? Yeah. Right, oh, I'm going to ask you some questions, all right? And I'll give you ten dollars, all right? Yeah, okay. So, how long you been working here? Uh, maybe about a long time. A long time, yeah, many years, because I know you from a long, long time ago. Ten You've been working here nearly, you know, over ten years. And you, you know, you a solo. Yeah. You're a solo. You work by yourself. You don't work at any club. I'm not working. No, you don't work at any club. No. So. So for um, so so if I wanted to take you back to my hotel yes. for one hour, yes. so what would it be like? Fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, fifteen dollars for one hour, two hour. Yeah, one to two hours. Yeah, fifteen dollars. Yeah, okay. So you would give me a good time. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. I'm just paying 
I'm just paying you $10 for an interview, okay? I'm not going to give you, I'm not taking you back to my hotel, okay? I'm just asking you some questions for other yeah. people, okay? So, at night time, then can be a lot of girls here, eh? At night time. Yeah. yeah. So there's all shapes, sizes, ages here, working solo. So this is one of them. So you, um, so you know, if I was to take you back to my hotel now, you give me a good time. Yeah. 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 For ten, fifteen dollars. For ten or fifteen dollars, you give me a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe what one, two hours. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd buy you some what beer? Do you like wine? Do you like drinking wine? Sometimes. Wine or beer? Uh, beer? You like drinking beer? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have plenty of beer back at my hotel or my apartment, and we could sit down and drink a few beers and talk about what I wanted, and. So, yeah, so that's the way you would do with a solo. Yeah, and this is her friend here. This is her friend here, waiting. So, so I, I said I'd give her $10 for the interview. So you're getting everything from the horse's mouth, you know. But there's all ages, all sizes, height, you know, tall, slim, slim. Um, average weight, you know, different coloured hair and they're usually all dressed up a lot better than now because she's not working, it's early in the morning and she's got just got her old clothes on. So, you know, for $10 or $15 for a couple of hours back at your apartment or hotel room, you know, it's you know, probably good value. But I no longer do that, you know, I've been here too long now and been here nearly 18 years coming up and you know it was a novelty when I first come here but for the last 12 14 years I you know it's just a hobby now making YouTube videos so anything else you'd like um you you, you work here like every day and every night you're here yeah and then when you're tired you just sleep over there yeah, and you've got your clothes in a locker here. So as you can see, it used to be a hive of activity, but it's all closed down now, and only that little part over the end over here is open now. Everything else is shut. So I thank you for the interview. All right, oh, I appreciate it. And a lot of my subscribers will understand now what they can expect for $10 when you pick up a solo if you come to the pub street in Street 51. So there's, there's at night time there's hundreds to choose from. Just sit down, drink a beer and they all come up to you. You don't have to go looking for them, they'll actually come up to you. And you just pick which one ever you want. Yeah, but best if they speak English or whatever language you speak because then that's easier to talk to them, isn't it? If you speak English, it's easier to communicate rather than the ones that only speak Khmer. So, I thank you for this interview and I'll give you $10. I'll open my wallet now. Um, so, here's $10 for the interview. I thank you very much. Okay, and um, maybe you can share, share, share some with your friend. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but thank you very much for the interview. And now my subscribers and people watching will now know the process to go through. So we're in Pub Street, Street 51, right opposite Heart of Darkness. And I thank you very much. Okay, thank you girls, bye bye. Okay, bye. So, so that's the process you go through. Um, a lot of people are going to disagree with what I've just filmed. 
um, there's going to be a lot of nasty WhatsApp messages coming through, but I'm just, you know, without money they can't survive. And this is the only work available for 90% of the females in Cambodia. So don't call them any of the, the nasty names that you call them overseas in your country, in Cambodia or Phnom Penh, they are just working girls. That's all it is, working girl. So you can grab a seat over here, sit down, and they'll come to you like flies around a honey pot. And uh, you just talk to them and pick out which one and negotiate your price like I've just done. And you will, you know, you know the process I've just showed you. So this place is open, you get your beer and your food over there and the only setting available is like here, there's a pool table over there but at night time after 5pm at night more of these little bars will open in this little area here and if you want the toilets it's outside that door turn right and you'll find the toilets and um, so this is all at Pub Street in Phnom Penh Street 51 right opposite Heart of Darkness is right across the road there and as I said before it's an all gender bar so whatever you're into you'll be able to find it at the Heart of Darkness and you know that's, a, that's about it I've gone through it I'm sorry if I've offended anyone or um, upset anyone or they don't approve of this video it's just a lot of subscribers wanted to know how you go about you know finding some company when in Phnom Penh and this is the way you've done it uh, for all my subscribers who wanted to see how it was done that's it but come here and as I said they're all ages from 18 up to 40 all different heights and sizes and some are dressed up some are in old clothes but if you like what you see $10 $15 for two two one two three three hours you know $10 and have some beers back at your apartment and it'll be $10 for four hours so that's about it, so I'll leave all my comments down below on this video and if you like this video subscribe, share and like and I'll leave all my comments down below so if you want to contact me it'll be in the comments down below. So this is Mystery Cambodia signing off from Pub Street, Street 51, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Thank you for watching, Mystery Cambodia signing off.